Okay, friends, what we're going to do today is take our portraits and cut them out. I'm just going to carefully cut around. I'm going to take my time and make sure not to cut off my ears. And I'm just going to slowly turn my paper to cut out my face. Now I've got my face cut out. I'm going to grab myself some construction paper and I'm going to get ready to glue it down. Remember when we glue it's dip, dip, wipe it on the lip, then dot, dot, not a lot. Dip, dip, wipe it on the lip, dot, dot, not a lot. Do we put glue in the middle of whatever we're gluing down? Nope, the glue stays on the edges. And I turn it over. I don't want to smear my pastels, so I'm going to turn my paper over and give it a back rub. And we want to give our paper a back rub for at least 30 seconds. So while you rub, make sure you're counting to 30. While my paper is turned over, I'm going to go ahead and grab a pencil and write my name. All right, my portrait's looking pretty good, but I'm bald. What we're going to get to do now is paint some hair. All right, so when we're painting our hair, we're just going to take our paintbrush put it in our paint and go right over our paper. And this is the fun part. We're just going to load up lots of paint. Remember, if your paint's starting to look like this, that means you need to get some more paint on your brush. When you're ready for a new color, you can just wipe your paintbrush on your messy mat and get yourself a new color. You can even blend some colors together to give yourself some highlights to make it look like real hair. And we know all about blending colors from when we painted our faces. We can do the same to find our hair color. Remember, white makes it light. And black is a strong color, so it makes things darker. You can also add a little bit of yellow, orange, and red to your hair to find the perfect color for you. All right, friends, my hair is all dry, so it's time for me to put this on the drying rack. <laughs> 